All right, so this we got that recording going. Recording. I'm so glad y'all are here. Um, again, I'm Jessica Borden. I'm the Director of Technology here at Keller Williams in East Brainerd and really all of Chattanooga. Um, so I'm really grateful that y'all are with me today. Um, what we're gonna be doing, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a share screen really quick and I'll get you to the screen you wanna see, not my Zoom screen. Um, and we're gonna walk through and just give you a little overview of the different websites that you all have here at Keller Williams, kind of go through those things. And then we're gonna spend probably roughly 50% of the time together on Q and A. Um, so I'm not gonna specifically tell you how to do everything on here on these um, different sites, but I really wanna make sure that you know what they are and why they're valuable to you. And again, feel free to raise your hand, ask questions. Um, I definitely want this to be uh, interactive conversation. So, all right. So I've pulled up all of our websites that are available to you guys that you've probably seen on your long Keller Cloud email. Um, the first one uh, that we're going to look at is mykw.kw.com. And I put a little red like light on the end of my mouse. You can see where my mouse is when I'm pointing to things. So mykw.kw.com is actually our original um, website where we had all of our resources. So you can see, you know, it was designed with a, a number of resources across the top. Um, and this website is going to be important to you for a couple of reasons. So I wanted to make sure that I shared those with you today. Um, you're going to be spending most of your time between KW Command and KW Connect. And yet there's still a few things here that you all will want to know. So I'm going to draw your attention first to the upper left corner where you see my picture, my name, and profile and reports. So there's a couple things here to know. Um, this is the profile that is how we enter you into the system. So like when you first came to KW and you joined us and Haley put you into our system, um, and then Scott Leroy got in contact with you and started working with you around um, setting everything up. This original profile is where a lot of pieces of data live. So I just want to show it to you because um, there's a few things that you all will want to know. Um, when you're looking at your original profile, it does have like all of the data, like you're, you know, different. You can put in your um, like social media accounts. You can put in like your email. Um, you can put in your phone numbers. Your, you've got your business address. Um, designations. These are all things that flow out from here into KW Command, KW Connect. So this is feeding those profiles um, with some basic data. So one especially important thing I wanted to show you, let me see if I can zoom in on it, is the KWU ID. So we have a few classes coming up or events coming up in the next couple of months where if you were to register for something, you might need your KWU ID. So this ID number is like your unique identifier within our ecosystem. So for bold, for instance, I know if you were at our uh, team meeting, you probably heard about bold. If you ever are going to, you know, go to Bold or you're ever going to go to a family reunion or a mega camp conference or any other Keller Williams class that's offered at a level above the market center, above the office, you're going to need this KWU ID. It's the way that they figure out who's who and make sure that the right person gets registered for the right event. This is, of course, because there's a lot of people with the same name. Right, maybe not you, maybe not your name, but a lot of people that could have the same name. So that's something important and that's that KWU ID. In fact, I would say if you keep like a note in your phone with important numbers, go find your KWU ID a little later today and just go ahead and put it in your phone. That way you've got it and you don't have to continually come and look it up. That's what I do, okay? So that is one piece of data that's really important inside of this profile. Um, and your profile also shows all the roles that you have <laughs> inside the organization. Yours will not look like mine, um, but this just shows you all of the roles. And it also has your MLS information. So your MLS information, you can see I have a couple of different 
MLSs that I've been a part of. I'm not part of Knoxville anymore, but I used to be. Um, and I'm part of Chattanooga. So if you are a member of any MLS, so that's like Chattanooga, River Counties, um, Carpet Capital, Knoxville, um, any of those, they have to have this information entered here. So it's important to know that that is where the profile is where you would have that information updated. So Haley will actually do that for you in Agent Services. So you'll actually be able to send her those numbers and have her help you get that updated. But I wanted you to know where it goes just in case you needed to check it at any time. Okay. Does anybody have any questions around the profile? So the other thing I wanted to make sure to share with you guys is that you do have a reporting center. This probably doesn't mean as much today as it will in the future, but you have a place where you can go and pull reports on your business. So um, I know, again, like we talk about numbers in our team meetings. We talk about um, the importance of knowing your numbers. So if you ever go into reports, and my reports are going to frankly not be very exciting, um, but I'll show you the report center. If you go into reports, you have the ability to pull your associate, that's you, right? Your associate multi-year trend report. That's just one of many reports you can pull. You can pull like an income summary or a monthly production summary for yourself, right? I can't pull this for anyone but myself. Um, so I can look at the multi-year trend and see how did I do in May of last year? How did I do May of this year? How did I do May two years ago, right? So I could look at my business. Um, if I was doing real estate, I could look at that. So you guys will probably want to find this at some point. So I definitely wanted to point it out to you that you can go in and see your numbers and be able to compare and see how your business has grown or if there's opportunities for you. So I just wanted to share that with you guys as well. Um, there's one more piece of data on the MyKW that I wanted to share with you. Um, and it's up underneath this technology button on the screen. So um, if you attended DocuSign with me, then you have learned the general process for doing a transaction. Um, so part of that process includes creating a green sheet. So just think about green sheet what color is money? Money is green. I have to have a green sheet so I can get paid. So a green sheet, which there's a class that's going to teach you all about this as well. We have classes for lots of things. Um, and it's going to be all about money. And then I believe it's the earnest money round table, I think is the other one. So um, those are the two classes. They're Kathy and Willow in our accounting department. They're gonna be teaching those classes to help you. Um, but when you go to green sheets, you're able to create a green sheet for the transaction, which basically just walks you through creating what does the transaction look like? How much is it selling for? Who are the parties, like the buyer or the seller or both? Um, who are, you know, how much commission dollars is it going to be? How is it split? Like it's going to break all of that down and it all calculates for you. So good news is, is you don't have to have, be able to do a lot of math that just does it for you. Um, but it's important for you to know where to get to the green sheet. So I just wanted to make sure I showed you the green sheet. So just as a walk back through that, you'll go to technology and you'll go to the green sheet right here. And I see your hand, go ahead. Let's see, I don't- Video to come back, come back. Can, sorry about that, my sound was really low. Um, would you mind to repeat that one more time? Sorry about that. So I, um, I just wanted to double check that you guys still use green sheets at East Brainerd. Correct. Um, are yeah. you going to at any point make the transition over to doing the commissions through command? Eventually, yes. Um, so we have some different deductions at East Brainerd that Kathy would prefer us to just outline on a green sheet. Okay. Um, those deductions are not yet able to be entered into the commissions unless they manually enter it every time. Okay. And so, I mean, it's manual entry on the green sheet, but there's a spot for it. Okay. So we're still using green sheets until Keller Williams gives us the customizable um, deduction fields for commissions. 
Okay. Um, and once we can set that at the market center level and say the deduction is called KWEB cares or um, agent savings or whatever, you know, those mm -hmm. things might be, we're going to change over at that point in time. But for today, we're doing green sheets just because what we really don't want to happen is agents to stop giving to KW cares because it's harder. Mm hmm. So gotcha. that's what we wanted to make sure of. And I don't think they're having a real big issue with that at the downtown location with like right. it dropping off or anything. Mm -hmm. I just think it's it's all about how it's presented and how what what the MCA feels. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Perfect. I yeah. just to double check. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. And when I saw your hand, I had a pretty good idea that might be <laughs> what you were asking. <laughs> So, um, but that is what we're doing today. There is a place in command that hopefully we will eventually transition for those of you guys who are with me, you know, and watching later as well. There's a different way that we will eventually be doing it. So just tuck that back here in your brain. <laughs> um, so just to kind of like wrap up my KW and then I'll clear it out with any questions you might have and move on to another area. Um, Across the top, you're going to see a lot of um, links. These links are going to take you to a variety of different locations within either Command or Connect, so either of these two sites. Um, but there's a link here, so if you were already on my KW, you could just hit this button and go to Command. If you were looking already on my KW and you needed to go to Connect, which is the learning platform, you could click education and it would take you there. So I just wanted you to know you can still navigate from here to the other locations. So before we move forward, are there any additional questions on this page or? Okay. All right, well, if you think of anything, you know, we'll have some time at the end to talk a little bit more. So I'm going to move us forward um, and we're going to look at Connect. So as I was just mentioning, good segue, um, KW Connect is our learning platform. So it's going to have not only a lot of resources for you, but it's going to have a lot of additional education options. So one thing that I really think that is great about Keller Williams is, is not only do we have a lot of training opportunities in the classroom, and of course, virtual or hybrid classrooms, right? Um, and we also do a lot of training at our national and our regional level. So we have a lot of training opportunities for you. Um, so I wanna make sure you know about all of those. So KW Connect is gonna offer you a lot of training resources. So in the Market Center, obviously, we have training that happens every day of the week. And um, occasionally, we'll do things like this via Zoom if we want to have a recorded copy of the, of the actual information, um, which I'm replacing a 2021 recorded copy with a 2022 copy today. That's what we're doing. So um, inside of Connect, though, we have some other opportunities for you guys to learn. And I want to go ahead and point that out. So under training, you have a connect live calendar. I'm going to click into that so you can see it. These classes are brought to you from Austin, Texas and or other locations around the whole United States and Canada. Um, occasionally, you'll even see a worldwide class, right? Um, Canada is technically worldwide, but sometimes you'll see some other things as well. Um, but when we're looking here, we've got a variety of classes that are available every day of the week. So let's go down here to Thursday the 16th. Um, so you're going to see that there's classes available and they're live streamed and, and recorded. Live streamed and recorded. And these opportunities, again, are just different um, vantage points. You're hearing from people outside the market. You're looking at things that may be a larger picture, um, which is great because you're hearing the things that we're you know, sharing with you here, but this gives you kind of a window to the world. And there's all kinds of great things that are coming up. So we're having National Home Ownership Month in the month of June every year. So you're gonna see a lot of the classes are gonna be focused in on that kind of topic, um, as well as you know buyers and sellers and technology and just a variety of different opportunities. And like I said, these are live streamed all these times, of course, are shown in Central, so just 
if you wanted to watch this one next week, it'd be at noon instead of 11, right? So just make sure you do that math and put it on your calendar correctly. Um, but these classes are great and there's something every single day, sometimes more than once a day. Um, and they're planned out typically through the entire month. So I'd say here in the next few days, we'll probably see everything coming in between 7-1 and 7-28. But they've already got 7-28 on the books with the listing presentation. So I think that's a really exciting one y'all might want to mark down. Um, so these classes, again, are recorded. So if you came to the Connect Live calendar and clicked on Connect Live On Demand, it's a very light colored teal button on the left. I don't know why they made it so hard for you to see. Um, you'll be able to see all of the classes that have happened previously. Um, they usually take about 72 hours-ish to get them from they've been live to the recording is now available. So you can see we're on the 10th. So that's running about 70, it's a little more than 72 hours. But we are definitely getting those classes up and running as quickly as possible. and. As you can see, these are different people in different places. Sometimes there are a bunch of people on Zoom. Um, it's just a really great um, opportunity for you guys to kind of start getting the bigger picture of Keller Williams and maybe even identifying other people that you would want to emulate in your business. So I think that's really a great tool for you. And I always want to share that with uh, folks inside of this um, conversation of orientation. So. Um, any questions on that before we look at a few additional resources here in Connect? Doing good? Okay. I, I didn't tell you at the beginning of class this was going to be a fire hydrant because <laughs> it's going to probably feel that way. <laughs> um, okay, so looking at Connect, a couple of other really important things to look at are the resources tab. So underneath the resources tab, you're going to see a lot of resources, right? You're going to see all kinds of stuff. And um, one of the most important things that I can share with you and show you here is the marketing button. So many of you all may need logos or listing presentations or, you know, different things that you might need to kind of get your business going. Um, these are all going to be here inside of this marketing center. Um, if you go into logos and branding, I always like to show this to you guys because it can be a little confusing. So when you come in here, if you just keep scrolling, you're going to come down to market center logos right here in the middle. This is where you can actually enter in the market center number. I'll just enter it in there. 532 is our number, by the way. Um, and you can download the entire suite of logos. So our logos look like KW, Keller Williams, and then it has Greater Chattanooga up here instead of Premier Properties. So when you download those, you're gonna get them in a variety of colors. You're gonna get them in um, transparent backgrounds and non-transparent backgrounds. You're gonna get all kinds of different kinds of versions of those. So definitely recommend maybe like making a note as homework so come in here and download these logos so you have them on your computer so that you can use them for anything you might want to use them for in the future. Um, any marketing that you ever do, you are going to probably want these. So I just want to make sure that you know how to get to those. So just walk back through that one more time. I went to resources. I went to marketing. I went to logos and branding. Luckily, it's the very first button. And then it took me in here where I can go down here to the middle of the page and enter 532 and then click download. I think I have like five folders of these in my computer, so I'm not going to download them again, but you will get all of them when you download them. Okay. That's really important. That's probably one of the top five questions I get when people are new is, hey, where do I get logos? So I want to make sure I share that with you guys as soon as possible. Um, you're also going to see a lot of other resources in, I would like to say in your free time, right? I would recommend coming in and just clicking through the different buttons and just seeing what's there because there's so much value here in this um, KW Connect platform. It's just kind of overwhelming to go in and try to click it and get through all of it at once. So 
I don't want to overwhelm you today, but as you, you know, are combing through different things and looking for different things and just seeing and learning how our systems operate, I implore you just to come in and take a look around. And there's a really great section in here too called, oops, I lost it there because I scrolled down too far, called Welcome New Associates. So it's right here, kind of at the bottom of this list. That doesn't mean it's at the bottom of the priorities. Um, but if we click into Welcome New Associates, it's going to kind of walk you through um, training, technology, and culture, which I love what they've done with this. This is a new version of this um, particular page of the website. Um, it gives you a variety of different opportunities that you can kind of dig into. I mentioned Connect Live. Um, I know I shared with you guys a little bit about a class called Bold that's coming up. Um, we do it usually every year. Um, we have Maps Coaching, which as you grow your business, you will probably eventually want to think about Maps Coaching or look at some of their group programs that can help you kind of move yourself forward in a specific area. Um, we have Ignite. So we have Ignite here in the Market Center and then we have big, also Beyond Ignite, which is our special program. Um, and then of course we have Keller Williams University and then the Becoming a Millionaire Real Estate Agent. So there's a lot of really great resources here as well as some new associate essentials, um, gives you like your business basics toolbox, wealth building, profit share. Um, it will give you information about Keller Williams health, vision and dental benefits that you may not even realize is something that's out there. Um, so there's lots of really great stuff here inside of the system. And also bookmark the green sheets. Look at that. It's even another place for you to bookmark green sheets. Um, so it's just a really great place for you to start digging into the training that's available to you, the technology that's available to you, and the culture. So the technology systems, it's going to show you a lot of the things that we're going through today, um, the Connect platform, which we're on currently, the command app for your phone, um, the KW app for your consumer. Um, and then just all of the other tools that are available to you. So there's just a ton of resources inside of this Welcome New Associates. So maybe make a note of that as well. I would recommend this. So um, last thing I definitely want to show you in here is under training on KWU. So under KWU, we have a lot of information here, but I'm gonna scroll down and kind of slide over here to the right second column here, um, or second row, third column. This is called No Ceilings. It's the one with the little girl in the yellow shirt, right? So this is a platform of modules that you can kind of self-guide yourself through um, it's going to talk about lead generation habits. It's going to talk about online leads. If you want to, you know, work in that space, building, um, your database, it says million dollar database, right? So we want to, we want a million dollar database. Um, so it's going to take you through a variety of modules. And so these different training modules have different lessons that are like, this one's 23 minutes long. So it's going to give you a video and then it's going to give you a download with an activity. And I think that they're just really great because they center you in on the things that you're trying to hone your skills as a new agent. And this is available. It's all online, self-paced. You don't have to wait for the training to come back around in the office. You can take control of your destiny and use this. So this is a great tool if maybe you came in midway through ignite and you're kind of like i don't really know i missed some stuff um, so this is really a great tool for you or to use in addition to ignite um, or after ignite when you wrap up ignite um, if you decide to go into beyond ignite this would be a great supplemental program to help kind of set you up for success with that okay so Again, there's lots and lots and lots of buttons and resources here, but I want to make sure you know about a lot of the really important ones. Is there anything that you guys need me to walk back through or anything you guys have questions about so far that I've shown you on Connect? Okay. Feeling good, everybody? Thumbs up? 
All right. Y'all are quiet today. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Um, so I definitely, like I said, wanted to show you those pieces of KW Connect. And I'm going to slide over here to KW Command. My apologies. I was looking at something for somebody. So I'm home on my home screen of command. So command is agent.kw.com. So I will hop over here and see if I can get that into the chat for you. Um, let's see, oh, there's my chat. So we have mykw.kw.com, which was the first site. Then we have kwconnect.com, which was the second one. And then we have agent.kw.com, which is the one we're currently looking at. So when we're looking at this one, command is designed to be not only your CRM, right? Your client relationship manager, where you store your database, right? That's one thing that it does. It's also there to be your end-to-end -end platform to walk you through all the pieces of your real estate journey. So you have your lead generation, you have your lead follow-up, and you have your transaction of the business. And from there, you also then kind of come back around to the beginning of the prospecting and lead gen with the sphere that you have. So it's important to know that you have a variety of tools in command. And what I would tell you today is don't worry too much about learning all the tools, just really focus on the initial tools. And the initial tool that I would share with you, there's two. One of them, of course, is your contacts, because without a database, we have no business, right? Without people, we're not, we're not going to have a business. Um, and the other thing that I would share with you is goals. So the goal setting is under reports. I got an, a report literally, ironically, earlier that the goal setting might be under construction today because, you know, we build our own technology, right? So um, I am going to click into it and let you at least see the main screen of the goal setting. So these are goals that I put in and obviously I'm not in business, right? I, I work with you in your business. I don't run a business of my own anymore. Um, and the goal setting is super important, right? So these are goals that I put in in another class much like this one. Um, but these goals are the goals for your profit, right? The money that you take home to your family. And that profit is identified through all the activities that you do, right? So profit comes from your gross commission income, right? Gross is the gross before you pay taxes, right? And then profit is what you keep. And that gross comes from the closed units that you do. And closed units come from what went under contract, what went under contract comes from agreements, what agreements come from appointments, and so on. Right. So if you don't have contacts, which is kind of the beginning of this big funnel, then we're not going to have profit. Right. We're not going to have money in the bank. So this goal setting exercise is so important to the beginning stages of your business. Um, so the goal setting tool, if it doesn't open, I can get you guys a video on the goal setting tool. It looks like it's opening. So that's good news. Um, the goal setting tool is actually going to walk you through like a guided, like a guided tour, I guess is the better, best way to say that. Um, you're going to click get started and it's going to walk you through your, your goals. So this year, how much would you like to have at the end of the year? Knowing that of course, that we're in the middle of the year. So you're starting your business at halftime. If in, in 12 months you would want 50, Maybe you want to say, I want 25,000 at the end of the year. That would be a great start for me, right? It could be more, it could be less, right? I'm just giving you a basic number, okay? So our cost of sales and expenses. So you guys are probably going to have a really low um, set of expenses compared to what you could have if you were in business a while. So when you're thinking about your expenses versus your cost of sales, just remember expenses are the things that happen regardless. Um, you have to pay them no matter what. Cost of sales 
would be a cost associated with the sale of a property. So I know if you work with a transaction coordinator, then that's going to be in the cost of sales, right? But if you're working in the, um, you know, you're joining the board of realtors, that's an expense, right? So those are two examples of kind of like, what is an expense? What is the cost of sales? So starting from when you're starting now through the end of the year, you know, calculate your agent bill, calculate your, um, whatever, $1,500 it is to GCAR, right? All of those things that you have to pay for sure on expenses. And then figure out an average of what you think it might be if you did, we'll just say one transaction a month, what would my cost of sales look like? So if you had a transaction coordinator, figure out, how, you might wanna to talk to Shannon, she's on here. So she could tell you what those fees look like, right? And that helps you be set up for success to have your transaction move smoother, okay? So this is important to know. You can estimate it. You don't have to know 100% today what that's gonna be. But next year, you won't have to estimate it because you will know, right? So it talks about business makeup. I would say for you guys, it's a good chance that in the beginning, you may be 60, 40, buyers 60, listings 40. Um, it just seems that buyers come out of the woodwork when you tell them you have a real estate license. Um, and, you know, listings are definitely the thing, though, that we would want to push our focus to. You could leave it 50-50. Um, I do have a pretty close estimate to the average commission. I'll, I'll run that one more time. 318, 218 times. Just, so this is really where we're at with the, um, we're at this right here. That's where we are on the average commission. We've gone up. So that's the average commission per unit based on average sales price. So when you plug these numbers in, we'll just go over here and we'll do $3,000 of expenses and we'll do $1,250 of cost of sale. Okay. When you run through this and start looking at everything, it's going to give you that you would need $29,250 gross in order to have $25,000 of profit. Okay. So it's important to know that this is it's a tool that's going to help you. And I think this is where the under construction is happening right here where you see this spinning. But does that make sense to you guys that you would walk through this tool to help you set a goal for your business income? Yes. Okay. And if you guys want to walk through this one-on-one, -on -one, um, you could set an appointment with either me or with Jessica Fields. We would love to help you walk through these. Um, or Sally, you know, somebody, Sally, myself, Jessica, we'd love to walk through this with you and help you get this set up and know that any dollars and numbers you share with us is completely confidential at all times. So um, it is a, a great tool that will help you because these activities that you do in command will then reflect in the numbers that are here. Okay. And just know this was set to $100,000. Okay. <laughs> That's why it looks the way it is. But so... This is a tool that I would definitely recommend that you guys dig into and um, get your goals set. And then every year in October, that's the time to set your goals for the next year. Okay. Any questions on goals? All right. Well, if you guys do wanna set your own personal goals, just reach out to us and we'll be happy to sit down with you and go through that process because I don't expect you to remember, okay, I know I need to enter this number. We can work to calculate real numbers. Um, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys today in command specifically is contacts. So looking at contacts, I'm actually gonna slide over to the database that I use of the agents. So if you're watching and you see your name, you're in my database. Um, so I run my command database the same way that I would run it if I was in real estate out in the field. I have people tagged and grouped so that I know which office that you're in, 
Do you have a birthday coming up? Um, are we, you know, our contacts, um, smart plans or opportunities, which are three different facets of command. What are the things that you all are working on most or you all would like mo the most help with? Um, so I have people categorized in different ways. So let's compare that to a buyer or seller that might be in your database or sphere of influence, people that you know that are in your database. You all can create a tagging system to organize the database so that you're able to communicate effectively with those people. So I would say a great example is, is birthdays. If you wanna wish people happy birthday, we wouldn't just send happy birthday to every person in our database today, because it's not every person's day, birthday today. We would only send it to the people who have a birthday today. So knowing that data and that integrity of that data is so crucial so that you are able to communicate with them effectively. And these tags help you do that through visual identification. And I think it's really, really important to kind of solidify, solidify that with you now, early on, that the contacts that you put into the database, the more robust that you have the information on those contacts, the more tags that you can make on them so that if you look at them at a glance and you see their name, you know exactly who they are or how they relate to you or what their needs might be. So there's some really great ways that you guys can do that. Um, I am looking, summertime is always a little bit crazy, um, looking at doing a class around database tagging, looking at doing a class around um, golden letters slash golden text messages, some different ways that you can communicate with your database. So keep your eyes open for those. We're gonna be doing a lot more um, skills-based um, technology plus skill training. So this is a skill for real estate to be successful. This is how you use technology to make it better. And we're going to teach that. So I'm going to be working more on skills-based classes than just, this is how you make tags, right? <laughs> so we're going to be working more on that as we move forward through the summer and on into the fall. Um, but just be on the lookout for that so that you can mark your calendar for some of these classes that we're going to do around these very skills-based things. So while, while we're here on contacts, I'd love to just kind of open the floor up for some questions that you guys might be having around contacts and getting started. Um. I've added some contacts, but uh, sometimes I don't know how to do the tagging part just right. I don't know how to tag them, so. Got it. Uh, well, I can definitely kind of speak to that if that would help you. Um, so I'm actually going to go up to my name in the upper right corner of command, and I'm going to go to the settings area to show you a little bit of what I think would be a best practice for helping you create tags effectively. So inside of my settings, I have some different settings over here and I've expanded command settings and I'm gonna expand contacts. So here we have a contact tag section. So inside of our contact tags, you guys are gonna have some tags that are pre-existing. So they're going to be created by system. You guys see that system right here? Yes. So you're going to have some tags that existed. So agent, right? You may have agents in your system. You, if, I mean, if you want, you don't have to. Uh, I do because <laughs> that's all I work with. Um, allied resources. So this is like your home inspector, your mortgage lender, your home warranty person, um, your plumber, your electrician, like all those people, those are an allied resource. You might want to call them something different or create another tag to where when you see allied resource, you're not like, well, what kind is this person? It's an allied resource and a plumber. So you may have somebody with more than one tag. So this is a tag that existed. Bought and sold. Those are two tags that existed. Um, buyer, and I don't know why they have buyers, plural, they have both. But there's a number of tags, if you come in here and take a look, that were created for you when you got started. They're all going to be this kind of 
white background with the teal writing. Um, I guess that's teal, right? Um, so they're gonna all look this way. Now, as you see, I have colorful tags and all of my tags have like a, a method to them color wise. So when we're working with um, these different tags, I have a little button up here in the top that I can go in and I could write down all of the tags that I think make a lot of sense for me. And again, I'm gonna be doing a class a little more deeper dive on tags here probably in the near future. Um, but thinking about tagging, we wanna think about looking at them at a glance and knowing who are they, how am I connected to them and what are their general needs, if any, right? Um, when you're creating tags, you can go in and create them with all these different color coding if you want to, right? Um, I like the color codes, it helps me. Um, so for an example is, is all of the tags that are specifically re related to people who were in the East Brainerd office, so you guys, um, you guys have yellow tags. I just like yellow, it's a happy color, it's the one I selected. <laughs> All of the tags for the people downtown are this kind of teal color the, with the white writing, not this one, but this one. And I have it done that way because those are two very polar colors. So I can see that those two colors are two different things. Now, right. some of you guys, I don't know this, but some of you might have some color challenges with vision or there could be agents who have vision color challenges. So when you're looking at this, um, just know that um, it's gonna run like Roy G. Biv, right? It's gonna be it's the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, or, you know, in black, you know, kind of that whole concept. Um, but just know there's a variety of colors. So whatever you see best, whatever triggers you best, like to know what things are, use those. Um, and you can create those all here to where when you enter a person, that whole drop down of tags is there for you. So if you go in and create all of your tags first, you can create them here and then they're just going to be apparent when you're entering somebody. So I could come in and add new tag and maybe new tag is related to East Brainerd and I could create that. And then I can go back in and create another one and another one and another one until I have my whole list of all the tags that I want. Okay. And if we have enough time here in like the last five minutes, I can pull up a tag um, sheet and I'll try to drop it into the chat so you can download it. Um, in fact, let, okay. me do that. let me do that right now and see if I can get to the chat more. Where did my chat go? There it is. It, was by, it fell behind my window. Let me grab it really quick. I've got a really great, um, let's see if I can upload. Okay. I've got all three of you that are here. I might just have to email it to you because it's not letting me upload it into the chat. That's so fine. I can email it to you. <laughs> um, okay, I appreciate it. I've got a little list that gives you kind of like a brain jogger for tags, like different ways that you could create them. Okay. Okay. So that's a really important thing. So when you're back over in your contacts and you're going to add a person, what would happen then is you, when you go to tags, all those tags that you've created would then be there. So it's not, oh, what should I tag that person or what should they be labeled? It would be, you know, KWEB and I can grab it. Grab so it. very, very helpful. Okay. So that was kind of the general overview of the systems that I wanted to give you today as far as the different systems. Um, there are a couple of other things I would want to share with you. Before I do that, what other questions might have come from the conversation we just had around tax? I think it answered my question. Yeah. Right. It is. Right. And just know each one of you, there's three of you on the call with me now, and there's probably plenty of others who will watch this later. Each of you will have a different system. Yours and mine don't have to look the same. Ours will look right. different. So it will be um, very unique and customizable to you, which is what I, one of the many things I appreciate about this particular system. So, um, 
So I'm going to switch gears really quick and give you a couple of resources. And then if there's any other like burning questions that you guys want to ask me at the end, we can absolutely do that. Um, this resource is answers.kw.com. And I am going to come in and drop that one in the chat because that's probably the most important thing that if you didn't take anything else, you'll take this one. So I love this website because it will go in and have you be able to find the full operational, like step-by-step -step of doing anything in our systems. So for an example, I clicked the command button. When I come in here and I'm looking through the different topics, I could come in here and say, hmm, look at all of these contacts different things here. Let's look at these. Wonder if we could find um, an interesting one here. I was looking for the tag one. Here we go. Contact tags, you know. So you can come in here and see these are the system contact tags. So this is the full list of the tags that already exist. So if these are some of the ones you needed, you don't have to recreate them. They're already there. So that will show you that kind of information. It will also give you processes. So let's say add a contact. Many of you have probably already done this operation, but it gives you a video and then it comes through and it will literally give you a step-by-step -step with screenshots of how to do the activity. So if there's ever something you're like, I wanna explore this part of command, but I haven't really learned it yet. You don't have to wait um, if you wanted to come in and learn something about smart plans because you've got people that you want to communicate with. You could come in here and learn about those. Um, if you wanted to learn more about opportunities, you could learn about those. Um, you can come into any segment of command and learn how to use that piece for your business. So all of it's here. It's a really great website. Um, it's very well done, constantly updated. Um, it will also give you KW Connect help. It will give you my KW help. Um, it will help you with the KW Marketplace, which is an area inside of Command that looks like this little market store up here at the top. Um, it will walk you through information about that. So there's a lot of plugins that you can plug into Command and have them work kind of connectedly with Command. So this is a website I would definitely bookmark it. Um, if you ever want to learn something and you, there's not a class available, come here. And I guarantee that if you walk through the steps, um, you will be able to pick up the process and learn it. And I love that they do video and step-by-steps and screenshots because that kind of takes care of kinesthetic, auditory, visual, kind of kind of gets a lot of the, same, the learning styles covered in that particular regard. So definitely wanted to show you this site. Have any of you guys been here before? Yeah, getting some. Uh, no, this is the first time I saw it. Yeah, well, I love this. Um, many times, like if someone sends me an email and says, how do I enter a contact in command? I'll come here and I'll go and I'll click this and I'll say, take a look at this. And if you still need help, let me know. That's what I'll usually do. Just because I wanna teach you to fish, I don't wanna just be like, okay, go here, go here, go here. And then you didn't really remember how to do it. So I, I will do a, hopefully a good job of teaching you to fish and helping you be empowered in this regard. And I know that we're all not in the same space like with technology, some of us are like, no, I don't like this. This is difficult for me. Some of us are like, I love this. This is my favorite thing. Um, believe it or not, I did, was not a techie person before I had this job. <laughs> um, I worked in real estate. I just started learning and I was a lover of learning and being a lover of learning, I started loving to teach people and loving to teach people brought me to the point of having the opportunity to do this all the time, so. It's bucket filling. Um, so lastly, just a couple of quick things that I wanna make sure that you guys know about is the calendar. So this is the calendar for KW Eats Reinard. Um, I'll throw this in the chat also, because it's super important for you guys to bookmark that on your computer. This calendar is in real time. 
So we are here, the 16th is highlighted. Um, so we're here. There's something pretty much, like I said, every day of the week. This calendar will show you the classes and um, events that we're doing locally here in person. It will also show you opportunities for training with Scott Leroy. So you'll see a Scott Leroy class pretty much every single um, day of the week. And it looks like, and I may, this schedule may have changed. I need to check, but it looks like he's even hosting a class on Monday, even though we are actually closed on Monday. So, um, but just, you're welcome to come in here and look at the different opportunities. So we have our classes, we have Scott Leroy's classes. We also have our regional classes. So I know you guys have probably already heard from me via email or in person. You've heard of me talk about this um, half day kind of workshop that we have coming up next Wednesday. So a week from yesterday, next Wednesday, um, it's going to be walking you through kind of the holistic view of a day in the life of using command with some guests that are actual agents and directors of operations who are going to walk you through their best practices. Plus, there's going to be several technology trainers walking you through different elements of the command system to give you a little more exposure. Um, and that this one is virtual. So anything that is our regional classes or Scott Leroy are always virtual. They're always Zoom. Um, but the in-person classes here are mostly in person. Today was kind of an anomaly. So thank you for working with me on that. Um, but most of my classes are always in person as well. Um, just a couple things I wanted you to know. And typically with region classes, we'll have the word region in front of it. Um, we do have a new agent mastermind. So you guys might want to plug into that at one o'clock next Thursday. So a week from today, same exact time, different link. Um, and it's going to be a really great time to get together with other agents from around our entire region, Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama, and mastermind together. Um, and you might build some referral partner conversations. So it's just a really nice opportunity to connect with others. So I just wanted to share that with you guys while we're here. Shameless plug for the regional new agent mastermind. <laughs> um, but, you know, feel free to come in here and take a look. We're still working on July, but this calendar, again, as you move forward, you'll see things that are going to carry into next month. And we just run this calendar pretty much have it done for you. I'd say we'll have it done for you by like the 22nd or the 23rd of next week to have it ready for you. Um, but this is just definitely something you would want to have on hand is what trainings, what events, what's happening all pretty much in one place other than the connect live. I used to put the connect live on here, but then literally it's the same link every single time. So <laughs> I just usually direct people to KW Connect for that now. But anyway, I will stop that share and just ask you guys, what questions do you have that I haven't answered today? And, or um, is there anything that you learned today that you were say, aha, now I know, and you'd love to share with me and the group. Uh, I learned about the uh, tagging process. I know where to find it now, so that's good. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. You are always a wealth of knowledge, Jess. Um, this was a good refresher for me because I work in these systems pretty often anyways, but I haven't been on the KW Connect side in a while. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to go back through the profile and know how to find reports and stuff if need be. So that was a good, that was a good refresher. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad that you got to, to be here with us today. So any other thoughts, questions, ahas that anyone wants to share? If not, I'm going to let you guys go about your day. Awesome. Well, I'm going to stop the recording.